again, my lovelies, and welcome back. Today, it's all about iconic makeup of all time. This is makeup that has become super popular over time because people are either influencing it like crazy, or it just became popular because everyone has been using it, it's been purchased, sold out, etc. Let's begin with the eyes, with the eyeshadow primer. This is by Urban Decay, this is the primer Potion original and this stuff is good. It's long wearing. It has a natural finish It's more of like a, a translucent, but it kind of color corrects your eyelids. So let's go for it It has a nice little tubey little tube, but it also has this doe foot applicator to apply the primer on your eyelids beautiful Love this stuff moving on to the eyeshadow palette. Do you guys remember this the Lorac Pro this right here is $39. I use this palette so many times I think I even have several videos when we just just started this channel. I don't think I even talked in that video It's that old <laughs> I don't know if it's even public still, that video. Everybody was using it. Everybody was talking about it. And their description is the one that started it all, the original Pro Palette. All right, let's go for it. Let's create an eyeshadow look. Let's start first with the fourth matte shade, which is a light pink. And I'm just gonna take a really, like a bigger fluffy brush to really get this on there. All right, so next let's take the taupe shade right here. And I'm gonna take it more into the crease instead of the pink shade, kind of bring it down a little bit into the crease and really try to define, define my crease. So next we're gonna add in some shimmers into this eye look. We're gonna go with pewter, which is this beautiful shade right here. Put this right in here in the inner corner and then take a little more and then bring it to the outer corner as well. And then right in the center, I'm gonna take the shade Nude, which is their lightest shimmer shade. And I am gonna wet this shade. And this, we're gonna take right into the center of the eyelid. Do you see that? How insane they get when you wet these eyeshadows, the shimmer shades especially, because they're so finely milled. It's more of like a cream. I'm gonna go back over to the pewter shade. I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and go back into taupe and just take that and help blend all of that together. For liquid eyeliner, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner is definitely the one of the most iconic liquid eyeliners on the market. This right here retails for $22. Instead of going for the typical black, we're gonna go for the chocolate brown. This eyeliner is so good. The tip is long enough where you need to be precise, where you can be really sharp and tense. The one thing I will say, after like a month or so, you do have to kind of shake it every so often when you're applying the eyeliner, but it's very fluid, it's really dark, it's really intense, and it does stay all day long on your eyelids. All right, so for the eyelash curler, one of the iconics is definitely by Shiseido. I feel like everybody talked about this for so long. It was like one of the top selling eyelash curlers. It's $22. It's still super highly rated. And this is the one that I have. I've had this one for a while. I will say it's definitely a really good one, but you kind of have to be careful not to pinch your tight line. <laughs> kind of have to squint, get my eyelashes in there, and then very gently, very gently curl them. For mascaras, we have two different ones. One is definitely more of a luxury, and the other one is like mid-grade, but everybody knows about it. The first one is Too Faced, Better Than Sex Mascara. This retails for a whopping $27. It has over 17.4 thousand reviews. That's a lot for mascara. It's a brand new tube. I haven't tried this in years. Maybe I will fall in love with it. I don't know. And it's definitely that drier formula, which I love and definitely prefer for a volumizing mascara. It's definitely black. It's separating the lashes pretty good. It's not clumping them together. Wow, okay. All right, we'll let this kind of get tacky. And for my left eye, we're gonna go with Chanel Le Volume Mascara. This right here is $32, so a little more expensive than the Too Faced. This right here. It's a very simple mascara tube. So this wand, it's just very round, but these are the bristles. They're like the rubberized bristles. And this formula looks a little more wet. 
Yep, right away, you can tell a difference. It's a lot more wet. So it's clumping the lashes a little bit more. Like you can, right away, like I barely put on anything with the Chanel and how much more black and intense it looks versus the Too Faced. You saw me kind of sitting here and layering the mascara. And these bristles, because they're rubberized, they're not as stiff as the boar bristles. For the face primer, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This retails for $54. It is an oil-free, state-of-the-art primer that extends the wear of your foundation for a perfect complexion. Why I think people like it is because of that texture. It kind of like blurs your pores. I've had it for a while. You see how much I've used it, but you guys know me. I'm not the biggest fan of primers in general for your foundation. Most of the time, they don't do as much <laughs> to your face but some of them are actually really good. I do, woo, I just squirted all over myself. I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount and place it in the center of my face because I have another product that is also iconic that you can use as a primer to highlight the top portions of my face or just the high points of my face. I wanna use Charlotte Tilbury, her Hollywood Flawless Filter. This right here is $44. And it's definitely iconic because so when, when it came out, it was like the product to have in your makeup collection. I like to use this a couple of different ways. I like to use this before I apply my base, but I also like to use this as a highlighter at the end of my makeup to really kind of set my face. It comes in a nice big doe foot applicator. I either do two or three in the tiniest amount right here. And I'm just using my fingers to kind of pat this in. For foundation, we're gonna go with Armani, Giorgio Armani, their Luminous Silk Foundation. This right here retails for $64. I'm gonna tell you it's worth every single penny if it's the type of foundation you're looking for. It's a natural finish with medium coverage. It's oil free. We're gonna start off with two pumps because I wanna use a sponge. But this foundation, it's so beautiful. It's very long wearing. You don't need too much of this product, even with the sponge. Like you can see, I put two dots and it already provided a really solid medium coverage. It color corrects, gets rid of any of the redness, but just the way it sits on your skin, it's very lightweight. You can't really see it on your skin and it just wears really beautifully. And it blends like a dream. It's so nice. Let's go with the eyebrows. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This right here is $23. The pencil, it's nice and micro. You can be precise with it. It's very easy to use. It has a spoolie. Did I even say the name? It's the Brow Wiz. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It's not super, super duper creamy where it just kind of melts onto your skin and hair. It just, it's creamy enough. It's kind of like a pomade in a pencil form. I will say one thing about this brow pencil, why I don't use it as often or repurchase it as I used to. It's not as pigmented as other brow pencils in the same price point. For example, Benefit, Precisely My Brow. They're a little tad more pigmented. That way you don't have to use as, as much brow product as this pencil right here. I will say her colors are also really beautiful. They're neutral. And I feel like so many people can find their shade in her pencils, but because they're not as pigmented, you do have to use a little bit more product. For brow gel, I was going to go with Benefit 24 Hour Brow Gel, but I feel like because Anastasia kind of brought the brow game to the market, I'm gonna use her Clear Brow Geller. Geller? <laughs> clear Brow Gel. It's $22. It's just straight to the point. It's a clear brow gel. I think it does a pretty good job, but I prefer the Benefit 24 Hour because I feel like it has a little more hold and I like the brush better. This one, it's really big. It's just a regular, brow brush kind of looks like a mascara brush but it's clear it does a good job i will say but if you really want those laminated brows i feel like it doesn't give you as much hold as other products but it's a really good brow gel for concealer the nars radiant creamy concealer this stuff has been in my makeup collection i feel like since i started doing makeup it's just a really great go-to concealer, but it's just one of those concealers that will never let you down. I think the reason why it's so iconic and so many people love it, because I feel like anybody can use this no matter your skin type. It just wears really, really nice throughout the day. It's just such a beautiful job. 
Like you can see it's not the most high coverage, but it covers to a point where you don't need to layer a lot of concealer underneath your eyes. And it's not drying. It's just, I, it's, it's a beautiful concealer. Let's move on to the Iconic Bronzing Cream by Chanel. But this right here is their Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in shade 390. This retails for $50. The color looks interesting. I'm not sure if this color is gonna look pretty on me. Hopefully it will. The color actually looks pretty nice. It's definitely a little bit warmer, so that's why they're calling it a bronze cream. It's not like a typical contour. That's why I'm picking it up just a little bit above, just to even like to give my face some depth, but also, you know, just, warmth in general, but it looks like it's blending out really easily. I'm not having any issues with it. It's not patchy. For the price, I'm just not impressed with it. I just feel like because now there are so many beautiful cream bronzers, before I feel like this was one of the few that there was from any price range. It was like this product right here. I don't mind this product, but for the price, I'm not like, oh my gosh, everyone needs this in their life. No. For my setting powder, I have the iconic Laura Mercier. This is her Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This retails for $39, but this is what it looks like. It kind of has a little bit of a, a very, very light beige color, but it is translucent and it does go beautifully on your skin. There is no white cast in your photos, videos, whatever, but it's just a really beautiful powder. I'm just gonna set it in places where I want to set the makeup, which is underneath the eyes with the concealer. I think a little bit in my T-zone, but otherwise I don't wanna set too much. So let's finish off the eyes before I do the rest of my complexion makeup. Gel eyeliner. This right here is by Urban Decay. This retails for $22. It is their 24 hour glide on eye pencil. It's waterproof, long lasting. I have shade Bourbon, which is just a beautiful brown, like an espresso shade with very, very light gold flecks throughout. I'm not going to go on the waterline, but I am going to go on the lower lash line like so. And you can see just how creamy it is. It's super pigmented, it's super creamy. Very, very blendable, very easy to use. And then I'm gonna take the shade Espresso and just kind of smoke that out. I'm gonna take the lightest shade right here, white. I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of the nude. We're gonna go right into the inner corner right here. Take a little bit on the brow bone for the iconic bronzer. It was between this and the Benefit Hula. We're gonna go with the NARS. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. This right here retails for $38. It's not my favorite bronzer just because of the shade. I feel like, again, it's a little too orange on my skin tone. For blush, of course, the NARS Orgasm Blush. This retails for $30. It's a beautiful blush, I will, I will give it that. It has a little bit of a warmth. It's not super cool and neutral, but it has these really, really light gold flecks in this blush, which I think is really flattering. But you can see it's, it's just, a it's a beautiful shade. Like I can't fault it. It's a very easy shade to use, but I, I do prefer this shade when I'm a little more bronze or tan. I think it looks really beautiful with this bronzer that I have going on. Moving on to highlighter, the MAC, the Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. I mean, there were so many of them, but I feel like Soft and Gentle is still really well known, it's still popular. This retails for $38. It's expensive, but I feel like a little goes a long way. <laughs> it doesn't exaggerate any of your pores, any texture on your cheeks, on your face. It's just a really beautiful highlighter. For lip liners, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Every Instagrammer, TikToker, it's like this right here is their lip liner. Pillow Talk, that's the shade. It's the Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. This right here retails for $22. It's stunning, it's beautiful, very long lasting, it's creamy, pigmented, can't go wrong. For lipsticks, the YSL. The YSL Rouge Volupt Shine Lipstick, $38 each. And I feel like every single time a YouTuber, makeup artist, makeup content creator was showing their makeup collection. <laughs> they had a whole section of just these YSL lipsticks. I think they're so iconic for a reason. They have pigment, they have color, they have shine, but they're so comfortable to wear. They smell like, like a strawberry watermelon candy. 
They're really, they're really nice. I can't really complain about them except they're so expensive. So I have two shades here. Let's go with shade number 44. Mm, I just like wanna eat my lips now. Last step, setting spray. The iconic setting spray, which is Urban Decay All Nighter. This one retails for $33. I feel like this is one of the few setting sprays that actually extends the makeup time and it just kind of helps blend and melt everything in a good way together. If you're using a ton of powder products, like a setting powder, you have the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, whatever else, just helps to kind of melt everything together without disrupting your makeup. The one thing I will say about this product right here, I think the spray, it's a little aggressive. Another thing, it doesn't have a scent, but it smells sour. I just don't like the scent of this right here. The only thing I'm missing is a fan. You see like on some parts of my face, you can see like little tiny splatters. I'm just going to very gently kind of help blend that in. We are complete and I like how everything came together. It's a little more glam. I thought it was gonna be simple. This could be considered simple for some people, but definitely not for me. I just love everything together besides the bronzer. I think it's a little too orange, but everything else, it came together really easily. I don't have to really try so hard to make the products work for me or with other products. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna do a couple of updates throughout the day just to make sure how everything's looking, how the eyeshadow is doing, how the, both mascaras are doing, and just see how everything is wearing. I'll see you in a little bit. Let's do the first update. <laughs> We're looking really good still. I will say, I did reapply the lipstick. I have it with me. I'm not feeling tight anywhere. I will say the cheeks, the bronzer, I feel like in natural light, it looks even more orange and a little too intense. The color is a little off. The cheeks look great in terms of blush, the highlight. The eyes look good. I will say one thing, the Too Faced, it's already, it's breaking apart on me a little bit. It's flaking. <laughs> you can see it right here on the cheeks. I'm gonna bring you up close. You can see the flakes are right there. I'm not really smudging on either mascara, which is good, but like I said, it's more flaky on the side, but I kind of anticipated that because the Too Faced formula, it's really drying, even when it's fresh. What else did I want to mention? I think the brows still look great. Still look fluffy, very light fluffy. They don't look crusty. They don't feel crusty. Everything is top notch so far, besides this mascara that's flaking. <laughs> I am ready for the final update for the Iconic makeup. I think honestly we're looking pretty good for all day wear. I've been kind of like non-stop running around doing lots of errands. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how we're looking. I do have an oil hair mask going and a little bit of oil drip down the middle of my forehead. So if it looks a little extra oily or if it looks weird right here, that is why. But I'm actually really happy that most of the makeup is still there. It's looking really good. I think the most wear you can see are is around the eyes, especially on both sides. I feel like both sides now, the mascara on the lower lash line has transferred and there's quite a bit of flaking on both sides. A little more flaking with the Too Faced and a little bit of flaking with the Chanel. Eyeshadow, if anything, I'm seeing a little bit of disappearing action right in here. I feel like on both sides, eyebrows are still there. You can still see the color. They have dropped a little bit, but like I said, the clear brow gel, it's not my favorite. It's the most long lasting. I'm looking a little dry right here in these dry spots with the foundation, but I'm liking how it's wearing on the cheeks and on the forehead. And overall, I still see a lot of the cheek products like the bronzer, I see the blush and the highlight. Lip liner is completely gone because I took it off before dinner. I was sharing some of my food with Emirate and I wanted to make sure he didn't get any of the lipstick. Overall, I think these iconic products, they're iconic for a reason. I think the products that are definitely worth looking into from this video, first and foremost, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It just gives this really beautiful blurring effect. The next product, the foundation, the Army Armani Luminous Silk. Because it's so lightweight, but it gives you a really good solid coverage without looking cakey, without looking heavy and feeling heavy throughout the day. I think the next product, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, it's not the most long lasting, I will say, but it does wear really beautifully throughout the day, still keeps you hydrated. The next, 
The setting powder, I think it's a really solid setting powder. I, th I honestly think it goes a little goes a long way. You don't need to use a ton of that powder on your face. The lipstick, the lip liner, phenomenal products. The setting spray, I think the setting spray is really great. And then of course the beauty blender. I mean, there's so many products that I definitely think are worth looking into if you haven't already. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon. Bye.